This is Boo Lee. I'm coming to you live right here in Las Vegas, Nevada, right here at the Venetian, right here on Las Vegas Boulevard. Uh, and what I'm doing today is my 50th class reunion for me. You know, uh, we really didn't have a class reunion at Jack Gates uh, uh, for 1967, but I did. And I'm doing it right here live from Las Vegas, right here at the Venetian, telling all of my friends that I love you and I thank you for all the support you gave me here on the social media, especially Jerry Shepard. And I definitely can't forget about Brenda Zeno. Brenda, you don't know how much you make me feel. The things you do for me for Father's Day, I just cried, man. I thank you, Brenda Zeno. And what you also did for me on my birthday. Brenda, these are the days that you really didn't miss your mother. Your birthday and Father's Day. Now, let's go back to 1967. When I finished, graduated from Jack Gates High School. I was already engaged to my wife, Gloria Jean Waller, out of Pleasantville. And, uh, and we got married in October 1967. And from then, I went on and started working at the swimming pool, and that's what helped me. Leroy Morrow, Jack Morrow, him and his wife, Laurel, they really helped me to be the man I am today. People say, wonder how did Boo Lee change? That ain't the same Boo Lee that we went to school together with. No, it was Jack Morrow and his wife, Laurel, and their whole family, Lil Lee, Tara. They showed me Jack showed me how to be a man. Jack showed me how to be a responsible person. And that's what I love him so much. And I met Mr. Jack Morrow in the summer of 1967 at Yellowstone Swimming Pool, where I was the lifeguard. Now, from that on, Jack showed me what it took to be a man, and I went on out and proven, and Leroy, Jack was happy for me. And as I got out of school and the swimming pool closed, I went to work for 7-Eleven. And when I went to work for 7-Eleven, by January of 1968, I was the first young black store manager that 7-Eleven had. And I learned a lot at 7-Eleven because I already knew a lot before I got there. Because I had good friends like Lawrence Jones over there at Utolum. The best friend I ever had who taught me how to make money, how to keep money, and there was no other than Mr. Howard Davenport. I'm giving all this credit, man, because life is short, man. We don't know when we'll be here today or tomorrow. So I'm, t I'm telling it all today. And let tomorrow take care of itself. Now, after 1960, 